In the 1800s, there was a man who pastored a church in Philadelphia. His name was Philip Brooks, and one Christmas he had the opportunity to travel to the Holy Land. Now the trip would take him from Jerusalem to Bethlehem on horseback, and they would arrive in Bethlehem at Christmas Eve. When they arrived there, they would participate in a five-hour worship service. This experience deeply moved him in ways he didn't expect. This is what he said about that night. I remember standing in the old church in Bethlehem, close to the spot where Jesus was born, when the whole church was ringing hour after hour with splendid hymns of praise to God. How again and again it seemed as if I could hear voices I knew well, telling each other of the wonderful night of the Savior's birth. Three years later, that experience was still fresh on his heart, so we pinned the words to what we now know as the Christmas standard hymn, O Little Town of Bethlehem. The whole song is about how God turns ordinary things into extraordinary things, how an ordinary night became a worldwide celebration, how an ordinary town became the center of the world, how such a common event as the birth of a child could bring heaven to earth. Now at Coastline, we do an updated version of this song, but it was in my research of the song that I discovered a fourth stanza that most people have never heard of. This verse tells us that Christmas, this idea of heaven coming to earth, is not just a single day on the calendar, but it happens every day and every time we call on the name of Jesus. Listen to the words of this verse. Where children pure and happy pray to the blessed child, where misery cries out to thee, son of the mother mild, where charity stands watching and faith holds wide the door, the dark night wakes, the glory breaks, and Christmas comes once more.